Hey guys, what's up? Brother Geesh here. So I was recently introduced to this game, and boy have I been playing it a lot. Um, my name's right there if anyone else plays, and you'd like to add me because I can play a game of this any fucking day. Um, if you've never seen this game, um, you might really enjoy it just because it's a game that really tests your wits and your ability to, I guess, deceive people. Um, Alright, I'm gonna give myself a name. How about. Yeah, we're really original. I know. But uh, anyway, um, so uh, there's. It's like 16 players in each game, and you, you're randomly given a class, and based on that class, you have a role you have to carry out. If you carry out your own role, you win. But if you're. Team, like, oh my god, first fucking game, I'm the cult leader. Alright, so I'm a cult leader. I'm gonna try and talk while I do this at the same time. Um, I'm gonna pretend to be a knight. And basically, since I'm the cult leader, my job is to convert people and kill the good guys. Alright, so since I'm the cult leader, I have the ability to uh, brainwash people and make them join the cult. And um, I can have up to three members at a time. So once I have, you know, if, if I have a full cult, you know, they can basically look into people, I can kill people. Um, it, you can see all the classes here. It's it's very, very complicated at times. But once you get the hang of it, it is a lot of fun. Oh, what? This is new. I didn't know this. Okay. Oh, I'm about to make someone bleed. Oh, wow. Okay. This must have just been updated because I was playing yesterday or day before and I didn't notice this. I can make the king bleed. Oh, wait, is, is that immediate? I'm confused. And so, also in this game, while you're like at this table, um, you can you can basically uh, hang someone or execute them by a vote. And people will find out uh, certain information about other players. Okay, so they're, they they thought eight was bad, but but if he's a fool and they kill him, no one can be executed for two days, I think, and the fool wins because his goal is to be executed. Okay, well, I guess I guess they're just confused right now, and I'm going to make one bleed, so. So another thing is too, um, you keep a journal and you can like make notes of things, which can be super helpful. But um, you know, like cert, like I think it's like a, a marshal or something, and they can like read your journal. So if someone were happened to read my journal and accidentally put I was a cult leader, you know, they would know and then they could kill me. But if I make a fake one up, they'll think I could possibly trick them into doing something else. Alright, so I decided to kill 16 on a whim. Oh, are you serious? Did I actually kill the prince? I guessed. I had no idea who the prince might have been. Oh my god, I got the prince! Wow! Oh, that was, that was, I, I literally guessed that. And I killed one. I don't know what one was, though. Are, is, was he, did I actually kill the prince and the paladin in one fell swoop? No. 
Wait, no, that can't be. Oh, someone killed him before I made him bleed out, I guess. Wow. Alright. Let's see. So they suspect me. So I'm going to see if I can convince them not to kill me, but if someone has um, already gotten information on me and they know that my faction is bad, they could basically hang me up and kill me. But here's the catch. Even if I die, um, the cult still lives. And until all the cult members get wiped out, we don't lose. So... Um, I might, I might, we might, uh, skip around and see how the game ends. I won't, I won't stay in, in games like these for too long, though, because sometimes they can kind of drag on. It happens, though. Now, there are still two uh, cult members left, so they could they could still re uh, initiate someone, because Ten became uh, the cult leader. So Ten can now initi um, basically convert someone, and they would have three again. So, um, I don't know why they're trying to kill uh, seven, Six right now. You know, as you can see, uh, six isn't in in the cult, so um, they they either killing a fool or um, there's another class called scorned, and the scorned's goal is to get someone um, a, a random target they get killed. So if they can get their target killed, they win. So we'll see what happens. And usually the scorned will be like, yeah, I won, because once they kill a target, they automatically win outright. Um, now, uh, the factions can win alongside the Scorn. It's just the Scorn is what they call a neutral class. You see, you've got Blue Dragon. Holy shit, that is loud. Anyway, sorry. Um, so they've got, you've got Blue Dragon, who are like the good guys. And Unseen, which are like the, the bad guys, quote unquote, but they're like, they're like a mirror version of the good guy classes. And then the Cult. They're, they're smaller, but they have more unique class abilities. So another interesting thing is, you'll notice, like, I'm in a graveyard, and all the names outlined in red mean they're dead. But uh, I could, like, type a message and be like... And it goes gray. So I'm, I'm chatting in what's known as dead chat. And you can actually talk to other dead players while you're in the graveyard. It's a really interesting mechanic. <clears throat> and the priest um, has the unique ability of being able to talk to the dead. So if a good player were to die, um, that good player maybe had some information he wasn't able to tell someone in time. Um, and so he can basically communicate with the dead players if they have any information or something. And the priest can also revive dead players. They can, he can only revive them once a game. But, you know, there are, there are a ton of classes to just, you know, figure out and utilize their abilities to your best potential. But there's also just a lot of instances where night one, you die. So, it's, it's, it's very, very random at times. You really don't know what to expect. And when it gets, like, closer and... Like, you know, hopefully either the good guys can, like, know who is who and form up. Or, you know, like, the like the Unseen or the Cult will somehow still remain together and just pick them apart. And even make them maybe attack each other. Because you can accidentally hang good people. Or accidentally kill good people. You can accidentally kill anyone. So it just it adds a lot of interesting uh, dynamics. And 
uh, this game, to me, I think is still in a very early stage, even though it's already been released, like, for consumer use. But it, it's... It, I can only, it's, just, it's very, very strategic. But you also sometimes just get, like, unfortunately fucked really hard by people that don't know what they're doing. Or they're clueless. You can even confuse opponents, I think. There's, um, who is it? The Illusionist? Like, if you see here, like, you can make a player get incorrect information. So you could check, like, a good, if you were, like, a, like a, someone who could check someone's faction, you could check a good person, but it would say they're bad, then you would hang them. You know, just, there's so many things to just cause uh, a lot of confusion. Let's see, I'm gonna predict, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say 12 dies tomorrow. So, uh, you know, there's just a lot, of, a lot of neat features in this game. Like, you know, even if you die, it's, the game isn't completely over. However, you know, if you get killed, like, the first round of the game and there's not a priest, uh, you might as well just leave and start a new game, which, thankfully, there's already a lot of people playing this game. So it's, it doesn't take long to find one. Um... All right, so um, I might I might just uh, cut ahead, either do a new game, because um, this game looks like it's starting. It, it might take a little bit. Okay, so um, I just decided to go hop in on a new game. Uh, okay, let's see what, what what's a new name? How about? Maybe I won't get unlucky and land a cult leader like like uh, last time. I remember. Um, I think the very first game I played of this, I was the king, and boy, did that feel weird because being king, well, uh, a lot of people expect you to do certain things. Uh, so I'm a knight now. So basically, as a knight, I can protect people, and I can kill people that I think are bad. Oh, hey, nice. So the prince, uh, he has this cool ability where he can put people in jail, and he can question them, but you don't know who the prince is, but he knows who you are. And after, I think it's like, after night three, the prince can put you in jail, and he can kill you if he thinks you're evil. However, if you fail, um, like, and kill, like, a good person instead, because the prince is always good. If you fail and kill a good guy, you lose the ability to kill people, and you can only jail them. So it's a very, very, uh, very risky power. So, since he, uh, jailed me night one... Um, now I have to do as he says, otherwise he could suspect me of being bad. But uh, that's that's about it for the knight. Um, you can only really do two things. Really, the knight kind of is a character who will he may die early, but if not, end game he can be pretty useful. Oh yeah, so um, certain classes that can kill, you can leave a little death note. So let's see. Not sure what that is.
So usually if you find out who is scorned is, uh, you probably want to get rid of them because their goal is just to get a person killed and it could be a good guy, but it also could be a bad guy. Um, neutral classes really don't um, have an allegiance. They can choose to work with a certain side though. But, you know, if, you know, let's say like one side became wary of that and they maybe thought that they would be a threat, they could just kill the neutrals. Really, the neutral classes are meant to uh, survive. While the blue dragon and the unseen or the occult try to kill each other. Oh yeah, um, so the king is, is a very interesting class because the king can actually be three types of kings. You have a king who's neutral, a king who is evil, and then a king who is good. And the goal changes really for the overall game based on that. If the king is good, obviously he'll want to kill the Unseen Occult. If he's evil, he will definitely uh, want to kill the good guys. Um, pretty simple. But if he's neutral, um, he really just has to survive. So, you know, as long as the, no one knows what kind of king he is, you know, he could just play to his allies and and whatnot. All right, so they were, they were scorned, so that's good. Alright, so it's night two. Uh, I need to guard the king, otherwise the prince will suspect me of being evil, so... Um, so, not, there's not much else for me to do. Um, if I was like an investigative class, maybe I could think about who I'd want to look into or something, but you know, being a knight's pretty laid back. I just talk during the day and protect at night. Great. Great message for everyone there. Oh no, they killed Edward El Elric, the Full Metal Paladin. Oh, see, they, they, these things are treasures. People, people take the time to do these things. Makes the game just makes makes you remember it. Neat. And what's cool is if you didn't get time to read it all, you can just pull it up again. So at this point, <clears throat> early in the game, hopefully, um, your good guys um, have identified some people. And they can kind of like start to figure out who's good and who's bad. You know, also on, on the opposite side of the bad guys, you know, they can also suspect people. Like if they find out they're good, they would try to kill the good guys in return. But it seems like nothing has happened on that, but there is a reaper. So the Reaper class, um, they're interesting in that um, they can they can reap a player and it kills them in two in two days, not the next night. But um, during the day before they die, um, they can't type anything. They're they they're not able to chat. So um, that that makes the Reaper pretty hard to kill. Um, the only way he can really die is by um, being like hung or if he doesn't have any um, death charges from killing people he could be killed in the night but usually um, if you have at least two um, souls from reaping people you are invulnerable from dying at night so reaper is pretty hard to kill and you'd have to be able to figure it out so since I, no one knows anything I'm just gonna guard the king again. Once we get more leads, um, I might try and maybe even kill someone because I can do that as a knight. 
Just hopefully I don't kill a good guy and take and and take my own life. That's the drawback with the knight's ability. Um, he can kill a player, but if they're an ally, you you kill yourself. Oh, and we somehow got the cult leader. So it's a pretty even game right now. Um, more than likely, the cult probably has either two or three players, and we just lost our paladin. So I'm going to whisper the king and say, hey, hey king, can I, can I, can I murder someone? And I'm going to go ahead and say, whispered king, if he executes me, kill king. So I'm going to see if I can get the prince to jail me. Um, Okay, good. So Prince didn't kill me, and he can kill people at this point in jail. Ooh, okay. Alchemist died. So, it's another neutral class. Um, they're like, they can heal people, but they can also kill people, so, again, they're just kind of out for themselves. So it seems like a lot of the neutral players are dying. Oh, hold on. You might. Oh, never mind. Thought we had someone to execute for a minute. Ooh, if he says he's Prince, that could be big. So it's interesting, the Prince uh, wants to kill him, but we'll see. So, can there be more than... No, okay, there can only be one scorned in the game. 
So the scoring's dead. You don't need to worry about it. <clears throat> and we decide to kill the king. Oh boy. I wonder if he decided to take my advice. Oh! Wow, that that was a good read. Oh man, I actually was not sure if he was an evil king or not. Alright, so I, I, I definitely, I will definitely protect Five tonight, uh, because he is Prince, someone will probably come and kill him. So, I will definitely protect Prince tonight. I might die, but that's okay, because the Prince can still jail people and kill them as needed, and the fact that he called King evil and got him executed. Very, very, very good. Ah, oh, damn it. So it made me switch targets? If five dies, we're screwed. But they kill the physician. And the court wizard died. Oh no. Alright, so thankfully the prince didn't die last night, but I definitely need to try and guard him again. So the prince uh, definitely might be jailing either, um, probably 16. Couldn't have been an illusionist because this is a cult game. I don't think any cult abilities let you deceive people. So I'm going to protect five again. Hopefully I'm not occupied. No, I'm going to draw some more. I can clear it, yeah, let's, let's clear the note. Uh. Oh no! I was reaped!
Well, that's it for me. Someone reaped my soul, and I can't type anymore. Ah, oh, sigh. Sorry, my fair prince. Cannot protect you any longer. And the other thing too is if you get reaped, um, you can't uh, be revived. So you're you're like basically out of the game completely. And the only thing you could do at this point is if there's still a priest, um, then they could either revive you, which I think they would have revived someone at this point. Well, maybe not, because usually uh, best strat is to bring the prince back. So at this point, uh, it, it's getting pretty close to the end of the game since there's only about seven, so less than half of the game. So now it really becomes a deductive game of finding out who is bad. Um, since it looks like t Bad King and two coal leaders have died, so there could still be maybe two, um, two to three coal members. There's definitely at least a prince, uh, the king, who is not likely bad because we just killed a bad king but there's also probably like another support role and an investigative role because the only investigative role that's died was the knight i mean the paladin and i think there's usually oh wait no oh, i'm sorry there's only paladin when cold games sheriffs do unseen there could be you know something like a hunter or a noble Oh, wait, a death knight? Oh, wait a minute, this... Th there's new classes I haven't even, like, read up on yet. Okay, nice. The death knight's new. Uh, let's see, what else is new since I've played this? It looks like they've updated some of the thumbnails, too. The Duchess? Oh, I don't think there was an evil princess before. Uh, assassin, alcoholic, yep. Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah, this, is, this, is, this game uh, this game gets a lot of updates uh, fairly often since it just came out. Um, but so far, it's I've, I've really enjoyed it. I've, I've probably have spent a few nights stay all, all night playing it. Oh wait, so oh, I, I didn't even notice it killed the Reaper. Okay, so um, it looks like the king. Well, I don't know if the king's neutral or not. He might be. But at this point, really, it looks like it's just BD versus um, Colt because the Reaper's dead, the Scorn's dead, and the Alchemist is dead. There's not really any other neutral classes that could probably kill them. Um, there might be a fool though. But usually a fool, uh, they have to die pretty early to win. Because once everyone suspects you're a fool, you know, it's really, really hard. Basically impossible to win, because no one will hang you. That's the only way you can win is to get home. <laughs> Wow, oh, that, that was a very good call. This might suck though, because if the king is neutral, then BD might not win. But at the same time, the colt's also very close to losing, so super close at this point.
Oh my gosh, what? So the king died now? Well, this might actually be game mode. Unless he was a new... No, if he was a noble, he was good. Ah, uh, no idea if he was a good king. Gosh darn it. Who's still alive? It's, this is a crazy game because the only two people are alive, so who actually won? I have no idea. Oh, ten was a fool. Until next time, Brother Geesh out.